Saints, I got my son with me right here. And I want to ask you, so come in there. What's been on your heart? It's, it's just amazing, Papa, the opportunity that, mm -hmm. that, that the Lord gave us and you gave us to, mm -hmm. to be here and, yes. and be a partakers of the impartation of this glory, mm -hmm. this new glory that you are carrying in this, yeah. in this time, in this season. And the wisdom is so wild, it's so amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, something very powerful, you was talking about the Holy, the Holy Spirit when you become, like when holiness becomes a part of your life, as you take in, in God's personality, like yeah. the way you dress, the way you do your hair, the mm -hmm. way you act, it, it got, it, it's so powerful and so profound. Isn't it like a different perspective? I, I know I grew up in church. I think you, you grew up in church mostly. Like, yeah, like, like, <laughs> yeah. like in the latter years, mm -hmm. but like you still like was in touch with doctrines. Mm -hmm. And like, what would you say on like the release of like the holiness revelation? Like, isn't it like more... Uh, potently given to understand what holiness is really about. Because, mm -hmm. like, how they pit it is like they pit like certain brackets or like clothing and mm -hmm. things like that. Or, like, how you feel about it? Yeah, um, when I grew up in church, it was more towards the reli religiosity part yeah, side yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah. Where were you, you, like, you mentioned it, where the clothes, your hair, the way you looked, the way you, you carry yourself, the way you speak, and, and things like yeah. that, and your ad adjectives and stuff. So that's, that will define you uh, as a holy, that you need to be in a, in yeah. a tie, in a suit, oh, yeah. a shiny shoes. So you holy because you, you, <laughs> you, right. you have that suit on. But mm -hmm. the way you put it is following what the Holy Spirit is, is telling you to do. Mm -hmm. He might want to, you know, the way we are dressed right now, the Holy Spirit is mm -hmm. you know, he's rejoicing in this. Mm -hmm. But to somebody else, it's like, uh, that's not the way you should look. Exactly. Why you call yourself a exactly. man of God and, and you dress like that and, and you look like this. Like mm -hmm. Appearance will deceive you. <laughs> that's why the Lord told um, Samuel, Samuel, I look at the heart, not, not, the, the, not the outward appearance. So as you can see, he was training his prophet into holiness. Wow. His prophet didn't know what holiness was. Whoa. He was training him. Whoa. And even though he's anointed, he is ignorant of holiness. Mm -hmm. God has to anoint you to be holy. Wow. So in Peter, it said, be ye holy as I am holy. Mm -hmm. It means I am now going to receive a fresh impartation of how God is perceiving specific departments of life. Mm -hmm. So when, so son, Balaam is in unholiness concerning Balak's men. Because mm -hmm. he can't see that they're not supposed to be um, there. Mm -hmm. He can't see it. Yeah, well. So the holiness aspect is to recognize when they are out of place to even converse with you at the level that they're conversing with you. Because they try to, the, son, the Bible said that they gave him a designer, a diviner's feet. Mm. Which mean that they paid him to curse the people of Israel. Wow. A diviner's feet. Whoa. A diviner is someone that moves in divination. Mm. Whoa. So it's like a false illegal authority in the spirit, like to do things. Mm. So um, uh, the girl that had divination in the book of Acts, though she was mocking Apostle Paul, what she also was a person that was able to foresee a lot of stuff in people's life. Mm -hmm. So she made a lot of money for her business. Wow. And remember when Apostle Paul cast out that spirit of divination, they were mad at Apostle Paul yeah. for doing that. <laughs> like you're messing up our money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yes. Wow. So she was, she was, so that's, that's the whole um, backstory on divination and uh, that type of degree. And the holiness aspect was this, that even Apostle Paul learned holiness those 15 years when he was by himself. Mm, wow. Your learning of holiness, it often cannot get to you easily by operating with a group mm -hmm. because people don't often even know what holiness looks like for themselves. 
And when you capture the holiness of God for yourself, like what the Holy Spirit wants for you, they might come to you and say, no, girl, don't do that. No, 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 don't do it like that. Because according to their idea of holiness, you're unholy. Mm -hmm. But see, as you can see now, holiness is a script that God has for you. And you have to go to him to get the script. You don't know it off the jump. And, and and there's another story, Papa, where when Job was was mm -hmm. tested, yeah. you know, his friends thought they was an unholy man because of all these uh, calamities that were coming exactly. upon his life. Exactly. And, and they were like, "Well, you probably sinned against the Lord, mm -hmm. not knowing that, you know, it was from the Lord all this." Exactly. And and, and that's what happens with people a lot. Mm -hmm. If you try to debunk what holy means to you in the past and you were around these people yeah. they won't be able to debunk it because they're gonna tell you no that's not right mm -hmm. you should do it this way you should do it you won't give the holy spirit the liberty and the authority to work in you the way he wants to do it because you're around people that's telling you the wrong information and you can't make any changes and you can't change your mindset and you can't change the way you look at things mm -hmm. you'll be stuck in the same um loophole <laughs> right so true and and uh remember they wanted to give david the same garment as saul mm -hmm. and he refused the garment wow yeah the garment the garment wasn't the holiness of god upon david mm -hmm. the holiness of god was for him not to wear that garment wow so you see that mm -hmm. if he wears the garment he's unholy mm -hmm. so there are things, um, when they offered the Lord Jesus the vinegar at the cross, mm -hmm. he rejected the vinegar while he's dehydrated wow. because that was unholy. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. if he takes the vinegar, you know that it's holy. Mm -hmm. He rejects the vinegar because it's unholy. Wow. So unholy is a, a place of something that's completely opposite to what the whole the Holy Spirit desires of you. The Holy Spirit is a man. Mm -hmm. Is the man Christ Jesus still living on earth by his spirit? Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit sees people doing certain things like, son, there's a lot of people in the ministry right now. They make the Holy Spirit happy because they're operating how the Holy Spirit wants them to operate, even when I come live. Wow. So you see how they're talking to him, like they're, they're free. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit loves that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the thing about it is, in order for them to get there, not all of them was like that previously before the Holy Spirit came upon them. They was more quiet. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they, they probably would not have had that level of boldness. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, he'll start giving you an endowment of how he wants you to be and how he wants you to act. Mm -hmm. And now you're being holy because you're playing out the part that God intended for you to play. Wow. wow. And you're exciting him. You're making him feel good. You're making him feel like he is being respected by you. God wants to be respected by man. Mm-hmm. And for God to get respect from man is often a hard thing because disrespect is so deep in the bloodline when you come into the earth. I mean, son, it starts off even with our the intake of information, what you learn, what you see, what you desire, what you start to crave. It's all it's all wrong. Son, when a when a young boy is saying, I want to dress up as a girl. I want to put on Barbie doll stuff. Mm -hmm. Nobody really sees this, this young, precious, bodily boy needs uh, information that's stronger than Barbie, Barbie doll desires. Mm -hmm. So the information that he has is, is, is subjecting him to the Barbie dolls. Mm -hmm. But if he receives a greater information, it will destroy the yoke mm -hmm. Of that desire mm -hmm. but see people are not taught that they're taught to just go after what they desire and accept people as they are but the whole doctrine that the Lord was revealing to Nicodemus is you have to be born again meaning that when you are the way you are 
you have to strive to come out of who you are. Mm. Whoa. That's why I said strive to enter into that straight gate. Mm -hmm. So there's a gate that everybody has where the real you is found. Mm. Until you enter into that straight gate, you'll never find the real you. Like you're not the woman that you were created to be. Um, so think about this, son. The one that you are today is not the one that you was when you was born. Oh, no. The, and the yeah. one that you was when you was eight. Wow. And the one you was when you was 16. Or the one you was when you was 22 or 21. Wow, definitely not. You found this one through striving. Mm -hmm. and, and, and son, you didn't find this one just because you sat down and put a wand in your hand and said <laughs> abracadabra <laughs> and flip it. Mm -hmm. And you said, now I am the one. That, that's not how. You work the works that the Spirit of God was pushing you to work. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, you discovered who you were before you entered into a fleshly body that has urges to sin. Mm -hmm. Son, did you, uh, 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 do you know this? Uh, 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 <laughs> that was the most moment. Notice that um, <laughs> um, so there is there is a finding of who you're supposed to be, but you have to strive to enter into that gate because that gate is carrying the real you. Mm -hmm. Now, if the gate is never found by you. Imagine you're going to go your whole life being somebody that's not really who you were mm -hmm. before you came into this flesh. Wow. And when you get angry, did you notice, like, if somebody says, uh, sir, don't come in here. You look ugly. We already set people here. You notice that when you get angry, you could feel it in your body. Mm -hmm. your, the hairs on your body start rising. You feel your blood boiling. Your brain stop. It's like your face start to rise. Why? Your body has a signal system in it that tells you to do things without thinking about the consequence. Mm -hmm. So the person that is yielding to the body will punch somebody. Well, yeah. Not thinking you're going to be in jail yeah. <laughs> and then you got to be go through all these process for Thank assault. <laughs> yeah, they up there got you... Uh, squeezing balls and stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> they got you squeezing balls and stuff for your calmness. <laughs> the man did tell us, like, okay, everybody in the class, squeeze these balls three times. <laughs> <laughs> and he's serious, too. He's serious about it. And in the back of your mind, you're like, I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> after you done, pass it to your neighbor. <laughs> And, 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 and it'd it be, it be, it be, it be a crazy moment when you know that you feel like you know that you're not crazy. <laughs> but you're amongst crazy folk. Mm -hmm. And you've seen people squeeze the ball all hard and stuff. <laughs> and you're like, I know I'm not crazy like that. <laughs> and then they pass the ball to you. And the teacher looking at you like, is you going to squeeze these balls? <laughs> 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 and they're not going to give you no A if you don't squeeze the ball. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, so, but the consequence is hidden mm. when you're moving in the body. The consequence is seen when you're moving in the spirit. Wow. So even when David pit Bathsheba's husband at the front of the battle, he didn't see that that was going to end up brutalizing his own 
future because he now got to get a consequence from the Lord for doing that and mm -hmm. grieve God. Mm -hmm. So, and then the baby died. Mm -hmm. Bathsheba was pregnant twice by David. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first time uh, the, the baby was killed. Mm -hmm. So Solomon came as a second seed. Whoa. Whoa. The first seed was killed. So what really happened? Solomon needed another body that wasn't a result of that first offense. Wow. That David made the decision out of his body. Mm -hmm. wow. The next decision was out of his spirit. So now here come the king. Because mm -hmm. David's spirit is a king. Wow. Wow. See, the first spirit, the, the first child died. Because the decision that he made was of sin, and the wages for sin is death. Mm -hmm. So the second son came, and the king, the son is a king, because that's who his spirit is. Wow. So as you can see, that God kills the David that the earth produced wow. when he was in the earth with a body, but he preserved the David that was before the foundation of the world, which is a Solomon. Mm. The David before the foundation of the world is a Solomon. Whoa. Ain't that Whoa, something? That is powerful. Ain't that something? It's so amazing. And the revelation that you gave when when you mess up an instruction from the Holy Ghost, you have to redo yeah. the whole scenario you again. You have to replay that everything again. And the way David to. did it, um, he did it like you said, in his, his emotion and his feelings. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord rebuked him and said, if, if you would have asked me for this woman, I would, yeah. you know, give it to you. But yeah. the way you're doing things is... Ask me for the young woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got to tap into, into the spirit you to be able to, to follow the instructions and, and, and do the, <laughs> the Lord's will without... Messing up. <laughs> exactly. Ain't that something? That is so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and God did not want to see that sperm of David Whoa. in the earth. Whoa. Mm -hmm. He wanted to see the sperm that was in the spirit. Mm -hmm. The sperm that was of the flesh put a husband out. He didn't want that sperm to live on. Whoa. So he kills it. Mm -hmm. Just think about that. Wow. God did an abortion. Because mm. as a doctor, he saw that the seed was wrong. Whoa. Corrupted seed. Whoa. A corrupt seed. And, and David sold it as a corrupt sword. Oh, come on. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah. 